Hey guys and welcome to the Bind View. Hopefully you guys are all doing well um, and um, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Um, the live stream last night was really, really fun with YouTube and um, yeah, you know, we got our first donations and all of that. So um, that is available now here on the channel. Thank you so much uh, again um, because you guys, that's the reason that it's there. So thank you very much. And um, as always, please keep voting. Keep smashing that vote. I would love nothing more than to win, man. It would be, it would be amazing. With that said, though, uh, we're going to be talking about Herbert Heiner today. He uh, yesterday come out um, and said um, some things, and we're going to react to it. Um, there were so many videos yesterday that I could, I probably could have uploaded um, a good amount of videos. So, um, but let's get into this. So Herbert Heiner uh, was speaking yesterday to um, Sky Sports. Uh, and the first thing he starts with is on a uh, Xavi statement on uh, Joshua. Um, he said, first of all, Xavi was an, ex uh, an excellent player. Uh, and I have a big respect for Barcelona, but I don't understand why they're openly and uh, offensively flirting with our player. Joshua Kimmich is an absolute cornerstone for us. Agreed. 100% I agree. Uh, Joshua is a leader, uh, has won many titles with us and will also continue to win uh, titles with us in the future. Uh, he's firmly in our plans for uh, the future and one of the players to build uh, the team around. And I agree 100%, you know, 100%. And I, I do feel like Barca are quite shady with that, to be honest with you, uh, if I'm being honest, um, you know. By the way, then he went on to speak about Lucas Hernandez. Uh, he said, Lucas is, an in, Lucas is an interesting player for us. In addition uh, to his footballing quality, he has a big heart on the pitch. Uh, also, in addition to the dressing room, I heard the interest from PSG, but uh, we want to keep him. Uh, let's uh, see what um, will, uh, will happen in the summer. Um, that, to be honest with you, it's so easy to just block, um, block away. You know what I mean. Of, of course they're, of course they're going to say that they want to keep, keep him. You know what I mean. Of course they are. So I don't. You know they're not going to say, oh yeah, we're selling them because if it falls through, then it's like, okay, well, why didn't you sell him then, mate? Then they're not going to do that. You know what I mean. They are idiots, but at times, but they're not. You know, a hundred percent idiots of all all the time. Um, so I agree with that one. Um, uh, Heiner on buying such for a strike. He said, we're looking for a number nine. Uh, that's certain. No secret. Uh, unfortunately, it's not It's not that easy. There aren't um, that many on the market. Uh, and strikers who are really top um, are also wanted by other clubs. FC Bayern is still a big name. We noticed that again and again when uh, we talk to, our, uh, to, talk to uh, players and agents. Uh, we need to be patient. And again, um, I don't normally agree with Hona, to be honest with you, but I, I have to agree with that also, um, you know, on the fact that strikers are sought for right now. You know, United need one, Chelsea need one, you know what I mean? Like, they're sought for right now. Uh, Arsenal need one, you know what I mean? So, um, and even Real Madrid need one. So, I agree, I agree, 100%. Um, Herbert Heiner on Alfonso Davies' recent statement that he wants to play on the wing. He said Alfonso uh, Davies has uh, matured into Europe's best defender with us. Uh, that's an, uh, an enormous achievement. Uh, he cannot feel so uh, he cannot feel so uncomfortable in that position. Uh, and again, I, I I don't really know uh, what to think of the whole. Um, Davies situation with him coming out and saying that to be honest um by the end of the day if he's just you know saying his faults then there's nothing wrong with that is there um it's just a bit it's a bit annoying let's just put it that way uh then Heiner talks on uh, uh, Graven Burt's recent interview. He says, in my opinion, he's an incredible, talented, incredibly talented player. Uh, that's why we brought him. Uh, he got more uh, more playing time towards the end of the season. I'm certain he will get playing time in the future. Um, so just straight cutthroat, not even worrying about it. Uh, Heiner on the new um, transfer committee. He said the atmosphere is very good. We already signed two players in Lema and Guerrero, uh, both uh, very good players. Also, uh, players that can use um, can 
we can use in uh, both positions. Uh, they joined on a free, and uh, that means we saved money to be able to do s something else later. Hein on uh, Kim Ming Jay and Paul Torres rumors. He said so many big names are being thrown around. I wouldn't want to. Uh, uh, wouldn't want to comment. I won't be commenting on name on the names, but um, rest assured that we are looking around the market. Uh, we will bring um, suitable players to FC Bayern uh, so that we can attack both um, domestically and, and, and turn, intentionally, I believe is what it says. Uh, her behind on uh, Qatar Airways partnership, uh, we, he said we are always, uh, always in talks with uh, Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways. Uh, in addition to the financial and legal aspects, uh, we are also uh, concerned with some uh, social aspects. Uh, we'll talk to Qatar Airways and then we'll see what happens. Um, he then was asked, um, will there be a vacation? He says, no, um, it's that simple. We are looking, uh, we are working a dyslexia right now is destroying me. We are working very hard on uh, the squad uh, for the coming season. There uh, absolutely uh, no doubt that our aim is to be at the top again domestically uh, and um, internationally um, next season. Uh, and then he goes on to say we still have work to do uh, on that. And I agree. 100%. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, you know, uh, what's this about Kai Havertz? Okay, I don't care about that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think uh, on what he's had to say. Uh, I don't always agree with him, to be honest, and I don't agree with him even being in the job. But at the same time, um, you know, he's, he's got some good points, good points there. Uh, and um, especially the striker position. Stress especially the striker position because Real are looking for one, Chelsea are looking for one, Arsenal, United, Bayern, you know what I mean? There's big clubs looking for one and realistically, who is out there? You're not going to get Erlen Haaland, you're not going to get Kylian Mbappe, Benzema's gone to Saudi, um, can't think, Osman is going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, who else is there? So yeah, I think Vlahovic is the main guy for me. That would be who I would go with. By the way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to keep voting in the link. Let's keep going. Um, we've got what we've got eight, uh, twelve days left uh, until we win or uh, or we um, lose. Um, hopefully, it's a win. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. There'll be uh, more content coming today. Uh, happy Father's Day to all of you uh, dads out there. And um, till then, Miss Amia, peace out. See you in a couple of hours for another video, guys.